Hello guys, this is the Average Joe here once again, and uh, what you guys don't know is that uh, I just started uh, a bunch of uh, remodeling on my base here on my colony. I've, I don't know if you can, yeah, okay, there we go. I've marked out, oh crap, that's way too, okay, I marked out a bunch of mess on my base where that I'm going to be putting things because I noticed that it was way out of control I've also finally been able to get the uh, microchip factory up and running which took me forever because it needs so many workers but uh yeah there it is which also if you can see I now have 355 people in this colony which is insane considering that a lot of the people end up hating me in the first place. I'm surprised people keep coming. But, uh, yeah, I've, like, so far, I haven't killed anybody else. You know, that's, that's a plus. I stopped killing people. And, uh, yeah, some people just tend to not get jobs. And then you got 50% of the population. It's always 50% that are never at work. I don't know why. And somehow, somewhere along the way, I got two... Two people are sick, I don't know how. Eight people are homeless. Yet I have a ton of vacancies. A ton. Yeah, 16 people are angry at me now. Which is annoying, since how are 16 people angry at me, yet 13 of them are relaxing? It's, it's annoying as crap. Also, I noticed there was like this, pre this brief glitch in the game where... You see right here where I have 3,420-something... Research points? Well, I've got that research points up to about a good couple thousand. And I bought a bunch of mess in here. I bought, I bought a ton of stuff. And I bought, I bought like, tourism stuff and ec economics and everything else. And it just wasn't showing up in my builder bots, and I wasn't able to do anything. And I was wondering what in the world was happening. Maybe I was missing something or something like that. But, um, after... I turned it off and shut down the, uh, the, uh, gaming thing, shut down the game and the, uh, tablet for a good bit, and it started back up, it kind of reset, and now I know I have some things, and it gave me the weirdest assortment of things, to be, to be completely honest, I kind of expected a little bit, a little bit different, I mean, the, the only thing I got here that I expected was, um, in, um, the small vehicle factory, I got another thing, it's called the, um, well, crap, I can't, they can't even do anything, I just remember that. I got aluminum miner, which they can't do anything, because I just remembered, I do not have no, I do not have any, uh, aluminum refineries, anyway, um, which I have to build. Got those, I had to create a ton more of these little jokers, advanced builder bots, to come over and help with all this mess. Um, I'm building all these uh, apartments and everything else because I need more more people to be able to come here for because like I'm supposed to be adding a ton more jobs and I plan on turning all these little houses right there into these newfound contraption I have contraptions I I have that are I'm not sure what they're called right now residential complexes but anyway it it gave me atmosphere condensers. It extracts atmosphere from the air and condenses it into pure drinkable water. I would love to use these things. Although there's a problem. One, I don't know how much water they make. Two, I also don't know how much atmosphere they use. If it uses a ton of atmosphere, I cannot use those. Because this atmosphere level right here needs to go up to at, at least at least eight digits. Eight digits. In order for me to build a bunch of other stuff. And if it doesn't, then I can't do anything. Which is sad, but can't really help it. But that's just one of the things that, that I got that caught me by surprise. Another thing, because I don't normally look through the middle of this stuff. I just scroll to the end to see what's new, and it put it, like, dead in the middle. Other than the mass driver, which I already built, which I'll talk about later. They gave a motel... A cheap motel is the perfect place for tourists to come and rest their heads while visiting your colony. 
I don't know what to do about this because I mean it's relatively cheap right now because of the um I found a way to upgrade all of my um iron ref my steel refineries or whatever they want to call them to um the to the best pot right now so that I have like eighty something thousand um steel so I'm good for a long time but um like I was saying. I don't know where to put these things. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know why I would want them. I mean, obviously, to bring tourists so that I can get money, but I don't have any attractions other than the motel well, and my couple um, my couple bars. But other than that, you know, I don't really have anything here for them. And then, well, and then there's this thing. A small casino. I would love to build one of these things. <laughs> Simply just to, have a, just to say I have a casino in my place. The problem is, look at that. You see that red little thing right there? It says M2000. That's microchips. It takes me forever to produce three microchips. And it wants me to use 2,000. And unless I get a, a an advanced microchip thing, there's no way I can build that casino anytime soon. And with me and my OCD... I would never be able to just build one. I had to be, I'd have to build at least two just to make it symmetrical. And then it gave me the Civic Center. I kind of expected that a long time ago, but it did not give it to me. It's supposed to generate civics, which civics is what I need to I'm supposed to have to build to build my government, my own government and create my own laws and all this other mess and to buy my independence from um, the United Earth. Which I really want, because those suckers just don't stop taxing me. And then it gave me the gold synthesis lab. That was one I did not see coming. Because, to be completely honest with you, I don't really need that much gold. Especially if I have a gold synthesis lab and gold mines. I think I'm good, because, uh, I, 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 I mean, yeah. I got a good bit of gold. I got a, I got like twenty something thousand, which is rare because I didn't get into recently when I started making all those gold mines. And the last thing it gave me was the aluminum refinery, which I still can't make because the amount of microchips it wants me to use. But I need it in order to in order to um, have a place where the uh, aluminum miners can send all the aluminum, and that's the problem because. I didn't, like, while I was building this base and everything, I got all these aluminum top deposits, like, right around here, um, right around here, like, they're everywhere, and I don't want, like, see another one over here, and there, I don't want to get rid of them, and there, see, I don't want to get rid of them, because I don't know if I can make an aluminum mine, if I don't know, if I don't know, if I, yeah, if I, would be able to tell if I could make an an aluminum mine like right now. I would just poof them probably. That way I'd have more space and be able to neaten it up. But I don't know if I can. Same thing with a uranium mine. I don't know if I can make a uranium mine or not. So I still I'm leaving the uranium around everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, my resources went through the roof. I also got a good amount of rum, which I don't understand the point for. Because I got these bars, I got these happy places, happy dome, the green domes, and everything else. And these people are still angry at me. Don't know why. They just don't like me whatsoever. But, oh well. I also converted all of my um, original, my regular um, solar panel fields into these uh, seasons. The solar towers. That took forever. And I mean, it took forever. It took so long. Like, I basically just left my tablet on for hours. It just didn't even touch it. But anyway, found a way that I can get money faster. Because they were taxing me needlessly and a lot. I got $61,000 now, which, I mean, for me, in this game, is a lot. But if you think about it as an economy, that's not that much money. In the economy. But. I got this. This mass driver. I plan on making another one soon. Just not right now. Because I got a lot of things on my hands. But um. I 
can export a ton of things, and the prices vary, and, and they change from time to time. But you sell like a hundred of any product that you have, and get a certain amount of money for it. I usually just sell the food, and that's actually really high price for water. The pr price for water usually doesn't go above like fifty dollars, which is <laughs> insane. But um, I usually sell the food, the regolith, and what other thing? Uh, the helium three, because they usually stay at a really high price. But the more you use them, the lower the price goes. So it's kind of like a supply and demand thing. So the more that you're sending out, the less they need. So the more the more the price drops. It's really cool. It kind of keeps you on your toes there. And good lord, those microchips are expensive, apparently. But not as expensive. You see these alien artifacts? I'm still trying to find a way to get those. And because uh, one... If I sell 100 alien artifacts, I've pretty much paid my taxes... Uh, to United Earth, to the United Earth for like ever, so. And then the bricks, I don't understand this. You think that bricks, a common thing, would not be worth five hundred and forty-seven dollars for a hundred of them? That and the uranium. The uranium's like, there's so much uranium around this place is ridiculous, and they, and yet I can just sell it, sell a hundred of it for um, fourteen thousand dollars. The prices and the aluminum, like the aluminum everywhere, and it, the prices on these things, on the things that I can't get, is ridiculous. But the prices on the things that I have is retarded, because I can't buy, any, I can't sell anything that I already have, other than the ore, the regolith, and all this other mess. That like none of it reaches three hundred dollars. They get close, but they never reach that much. And so I can't really make a huge profit. And then when I, if I can't, if I do, it, it takes me a really long time. But anyway, I've been fixing up a bunch of stuff. Finally finished all of the uh, things over here. Um, dude, why aren't you guys moving? Jeez. Anyway. Moved a bunch of mess, made some more research centers. Which doesn't help too much. I mean, I need like... I looked it up. There's a couple more things that can that gives you research... And supposedly does it faster. But I don't know how else to make them or get them or do anything. And it, it's just going to take forever at this point. But um, I made a bunch more of these uh, landing pads to um, bring in more people at fast to bring in more people at a faster rate. So that I could fill in the jobs. Because the jobs I have here is ridiculous because I create too much mess. But um, that's just the way it is. And then you got these things. I built, like, so many more helium tanks just so I would never run out of space. But, like, three minutes after building them, the space ran out. I don't understand why only this many can break the system. It just, it doesn't stop. And I, it's, I don't know what to do at this point. Maybe I should just, like, get rid of some of them. But then again, I might need that many. It's producing it pretty fast. I mean, I guess I could use it for later. Anything that uses helium-3. But, I mean, what would that be? But, uh, anyway, it made these, uh, what are they called? Durable goods warehouse. It's supposed to be things like wool and everything else I can make. That stuff. This thing will store, like, so much of it. I should have paid attention to what it was, but I didn't. And also, the atmosphere generators... I figured to make it quicker, I might as well just go upgrade them all. But that was a mistake. I have had this device on for three hours at a time. And I've only made this many of these suckers. This many. And it's not that I don't have the resources. It's that it takes forever for it to get all the resources. Because it, it... Instead of just zapping them immediately from my bank it it sits there and takes the time to run the counter down one by one and it takes forever and it, it's oh it's annoying as mess but there's nothing I can really do about it let's see where's my thing I was gonna I was thinking about where is he yes you if you can, let's get you to build something. I need you to build one more thing for me, dude. 
No, there you go. One more pub. Simply because I'm OCD. And it's got... No! Oh, you jerks. Ah, oh, great. Now I gotta start to click them again. Okay, that worked. A lot better than I expected. Pub? No. No. No, come on. Yes. Confirm. Get this one guy to go build me one more pub. And the problem is, like, it takes so long to just make one bottle of rum, which is ridiculous. But, uh, and then after it takes like, so long, you have to use a hundred of them to build one pub. And then the pub continues to use your rum, so it, it's terrible. But I get by, because I'll just eventually shut off the... Oh, crap. But I'll just eventually shut off the, um... The bars. Pubs. They call them pubs. I'm gonna call it a bar. I just shut them off for a long time. Let it rejuvenate all the, um... Rum. But, uh... Yeah. I've gotten a good, good bit. The only problem is... That's 3,540-something, um... Um... Research points... Can't do nothing with them until it hits 5,000. Which is terrible. And I've got them stuck at a moment. Like, I don't know what to do. I can get... These two right here have been here for the longest time. This is new. But, I don't know what to do. Because, um... With the uh, Galactic Commerce, I can probably buy and trade and sell with like a ton of things, ton of people and things or whatever else across the game but with this I'll be able to talk to them and everything else like real time talk to them and stuff like that and this and I can clone humans which means I can get people faster but I'd also have to wait a lot longer to get an extra thousand this could help me get tourists from all across the galaxy which means get more money this could help me get more people to work more to get more money well get more objects to sell to get more Get more money. That's the point. Because I gotta get something in order to get a lot of, um, I gotta get, maybe, I gotta be able to get, buy my freedom from this stupid colony. I mean, yeah, they helped me with my, when I paid payroll, but they are unforgiving on the taxes. Like, the taxes shot up to $5,000 lately, and that's what it's been sticking to for, like, ever. And I, 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 if I didn't have that mass driver, I'd be broke right now. I almost went broke one time. I was about $300. And I stayed that way for a long time. That is, until I forgot that my tablet was on and I put it on the charger and I left it there for a day. Yeah, I opened the thing back up. I had to pay um, five sets of taxes. But my, uh, my money had gone up about $60,000. So it kind of saved me a little bit. But I don't know what to do. Don't know where to choose one thing or the other. I don't know where to build one thing or the other. It's so confusing and so reckless. Like, I had to abandon this all together and just get all my... And build three more advanced... What are they called? Advanced, um... Come on. Advanced builders. Builder bots. Just, just get them to come build all these things. Because I need more places for people to sleep and stay and mess like that. And it wasn't getting anywhere with this. So, got him to abandon this because it, it just takes forever for them to do that in the first place. And, uh. Ugh. I still don't know what I'm going to do about the uh, microchips since they take so long to. to make them. It's ridiculous. It takes so long to make three stinking microchips. Just three. You got 26 workers in here, and it only makes three. It's stupid. At least I think it. I think it only makes three. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Hmm. Anyway, this doesn't really matter at the point. <laughs> like, but, um... I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. And I 
also don't know what to build first, because when I do get enough microchips, microchips and everything else like that, and they're now they're going back. Apparently they're done with the building. But um, when they do get done with the microchips, I don't know what to build first, because there's some things I need to build. I want to build the Civic Center, like, right away. I want to build at least, like, three of them, because I want to get the Civics Point up through the roof so that I can uh, buy my freedom from that stupid tax greedy money greedy co um, service because they're getting on my nerves and I just uh, have to worry about taxes all the time is it's nerve wracking and now I know how adults feel taxes 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 but you know that and um thinking about taking down all of these um places right here all these little apartment places and putting up these complexes right there. But I've also noticed that uh, I think just I probably should have paid attention while I was running my mouth. But um, yeah, there's only I got 16 people unemployed and probably for a good reason because that there is only uh, four more jobs left in this entire colony, which is <laughs> really really bad. Um, oh, okay. Well, now I know what I gotta build next. Probably some more microchip factories. Because they hold 26 jobs at a time, which is times three, because I'm only gonna build three. Like I did this over here. I wish you could, you know, turn them. I mean, I can. They they added that feature in an update. Which I probably need to be talking about the updates recently. But, oh, you can't flip this one. Well, doesn't that just suck? But, um, like this, there's a flip button. You can't use it though unless you buy the premium premium content. You pay for like the premium version and you are able to get a bunch more things like the checkered path and the golden uh, houses and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I'm not for this fancy smanchy mess. I'm just, I want to figure out how this game continues to go and if I can get to the end of it without killing myself. Because that's what usually happens in games like this. I usually end up doing something stupid and almost dying. Or die. So, yeah. Let me get this dude real quick. Okay. Should I build... A... I think it's always the end. Nope. Not anymore. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Oh, okay. They're one by two. One by... Oh, man. Oh, good, good, good. That's gonna work perfectly. That's gonna work so perfectly. I'll show you guys in a minute. But, uh, microchip factory. Um, I need to build it right... There. No, it can't go there. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna kill me with my OCD. Come on. Come on. Yo, no dirt. Why can't I slide this thing? There we go. And there. Confirm. Yes. Okay, that's that. Now, since that's there, it said one by two. Now in this game, one, the first, first number is this direction across. So it's one this away, and it's two this away. That's going to work perfect, because since these microchip farms are like this, I can put at least four in each place where the microchip farms are. I can put two on this side, two on this side, two on that, 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 and that. And then like, I can have, see, that's four, eight, twelve. Um, 12 plus 12 is 24. I can put 24 civic centers in the same blocks as the microchip farms and and have, and like, you know, crunch my space right there. That would be perfect. Hmm. But I'm also about to do something else. Like, after all this stuff, after all the microchip farms and the civic centers, all that stuff gets built, I'm probably going to build a ton more of these, um, see these little suckers right here? Those, um things right there yes I'm probably gonna put like a, a bunch more right there I would say simply for the jobs but that's not why I, if you know this it's OCD I want to put like mimic this over here and th you know all that but I can't because I don't have the um, capacity to do that mess not right now anyway I'll probably take it all down. But I've also unlocked, there's um, 
Another thing I bought with the research points that I forgot to mention, I bought um nuclear physics, I think it was, advanced nuclear physics, which should have gave me the ability to make a nuclear power plant, which is supposed to make like 4,000 energy or something. It, it makes a mass amount of energy. I was planning on like deleting a whole square of that and putting just one of them. But then again, I don't remember how big it is, so if I could put multiple, that would be like amazing. It runs off of uranium, though, so I'd have to be able to make a uranium mine and all this other mess. But, you know, complicated mess that I'm going to have to figure out in the future. That's just the way life is. But, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening, pay attention, watching, and listen to me blabber my mouth on. And, uh, yeah, that's all for now. I'll see you guys later.